Good morning. How your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin and them doing? And your hubby too. How y'all living, fam? Look. <clears throat> it's Thursday up in this biatch. You hear me? Anyway. Making me some breakfast. It is gloomy than a motherfucker outside. Like, you can tell just by looking at the blinds. Like, it's just gross. It is disgusting outside. Uh... One of you guys actually saw on the national news that we were going to get some bad weather and wished us well. Thank you so much. If I had my, um, if I was logged in and I could actually see the comments underneath the video, I would shout your name out, but I don't have that in front of me. But um, hopefully you, you remember having put the comment below the video. I think it was yesterday's video, um, I believe. No, day before yesterday's video. So two days for y'all, two days ago for y'all, um, because the new vlog is going up right now. Anyway, um, thank you for wishing us well. Juice is off to work. He usually texts me when he gets there. Um, haven't gotten a text from him yet, but y'all know I'm, if I don't hear from him, I'm gonna text him and be like, uh, Negro, did you get there okay? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, today is workout day with Jessica. Y'all, yesterday felt amazing. I literally got on the treadmill. I walked on an incline um, for 15 of the 30 minutes that I did. And then the last 15 minutes I spent just doing constant sprints. And I haven't done sprints in a long time because he took it off my workout plan. So I didn't want to lose my speed and agility like that I've built for this whole year. So I just was like, you know what? Let me get some of these sprints in. So I got some sprints in. Did lose a little speed, but as soon as I started doing them, I was like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm coming back. So I need to at least make sure that I'm constantly doing sprints probably once a week. I mean, at least just once a week, no more than that, because it is a lot. And um, both Kit and Jamie both recommended that I don't do sprints any more than once a week during this whole process. So um, even Jessica said, it said the same thing, but it's a great way to get your cardio in like real quick because it raises your heart rate really fast. So it's awesome. Felt great yesterday. Did a free for all. Did all upper body. I did exercises for every single body part, like biceps, back, chest. Did a lot of um, um, ab exercises, um, shoulder work, triceps. So um, I don't know what she's gonna have us do today. And if she's working any of those body parts, they might be a little bit exhausted. But it's all good because I know she did a lot of legs um, for Tuesday's workout. But Jessica's working out with us today, so I don't know how much of it I'll be able to film. Just FYI, because obviously, you know, we're going to all work out together because uh, today is Halloween. By the way, oh my God, I just realized. Happy Halloween to everyone. I know you guys are not going to see this video until Saturday. But hopefully you guys have awesome celebrations. Take the kids out and you guys are safe or were safe because by the time you guys see this, it'll be past tense. But by the time you guys see this, it may be the weekend where you may have some Halloween activities, some adult Halloween Halloween activities I don't know so if you do or you don't either way be safe okay um, I have no idea what we're gonna do this weekend you guys know typically we will do something for Halloween on the weekend like adult shit for Halloween um, so yeah I don't know what we're gonna do I think we just made just well number one Bambi already hit me up like hey we're getting out this weekend so you know because we didn't get out last weekend obviously you know what I mean y'all know y'all know about Bam Bam so once again um, when she hits me on Saturday and lets me know they on the way, that's when we gonna get ready. You know what I mean? But yeah, supposedly we're supposed to go out with her. Um, I might meet up with my girl Laren sometime this weekend, hopefully. We're gonna do the couples one, two, three tag on Friday. For show. Sure. We already have it all planned out. Juice is all on, like, excited and on board about it. So I am excited about that because I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, which I think is kind of fun. Um, kind of. It's fun, you know. Um, I am having my delicious... New addition to my little meal thing here that I have been experimenting with. The yogurt. If you guys haven't seen yesterday's vlog. Um, the Greek yogurt. The vanilla light and fit Greek. Delicious. I got my granola. And I've got my fresh strawberries. And my honey. Okay. Next time I will get agave nectar. Honestly, it's a healthier choice. Um, lower glycemic sweetener you know but because we ran out and we just happen to have honey from when i was drinking all that tea that is what i'm gonna have i love it and it's great because this is very high in protein so and it's easy to fix you know what i'm saying i don't have to worry about getting on the stove to cook you know it's freestyle fit week you know what i'm saying so i'm doing whatever the fuck i want but just healthy shit you know what i'm saying anyway um we had our rotisserie last night that we had no more room on the camera to vlog last night so we just ended it there but we had rotisserie and we had some cucumbers because it was about to go bad. And uh, so I didn't want to waste it. But other than that, man, we're going to go to see Jessica today. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Let me sh hold on. 
this change of weather is not the business. It's not, it doesn't seem like it's cold, cold outside. It's like gloomy and gross. But actually, it's actually, I'm glad that if it's not cold because the kiddos are going to be outside, you know, in the um, streets, you know, trick-or-treating and shit. So, all right. So, I got me a glue gun, right? And uh, some glue sticks. All for my my wig, and then uh, we're going to be on attempt. Hold on, wrong thing. We're gonna attempt this. Y'all see this? The elastic the elastic band. We're gonna try this. We're gonna attempt it. I have never sewn a thing in my life. Just FYI, not even a button onto a shirt. So this is gonna be interesting. I have you guys obviously know by the glue gun. I am gonna glue the, the wig. Um, the only part that I'm gonna sew is gonna probably be the closure, obviously. Um, and then I got one of these stands. This stand right here. Bam. Okay. And that's just so I can put the mannequin, uh, the, the head, the mannequin head or the wig head, like steady. I can just have it on a chair and then just work on the hair, you know, progressively without it have, you know, without me having to put it in between my legs. I know people put it in between their legs all the time. That did not sound good. But y'all know what I mean. Put the head, the, the wig head on their head, you know. I mean, the wig head in between their legs. Yeah, and squeeze their knees together. That, ooh, this could go so many bad places. But y'all know what I mean, and it's all over the place and flimsy. I can't do that. And you'll, there's a possibility you'll get glue on you. Um, got my dome cap, and I got two dome caps. I don't know why, not that, you know, just in case. If I mess up or do something stupid, I don't know, hell. There's a defect, I don't know. I just don't want to make another trip to the beauty supply store. Y'all, I've lived in the beauty supply store this entire last two weeks. But you know, it's trial and error, total experimentation, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. So, um, yeah. Wasn't that glue gun cute though? And really inexpensive too. I was really kind of shocked about that. So, more than likely, when I get back from working out, I am going to probably start that process just to kind of get that going. The hair that I'm using is hella long, so that's going to get cut too, which I don't know if I'm going to cut it myself or I might just get it cut for me. We'll see. I might cut it. It's not rocket science. I've layered my hair before. I just never told y'all. Because <laughs> I didn't want to fuck it up. Okay. Anyway, I feel like I have a boogie in my nose. If I do, it's whatever. Look, I just, I just get up, turn the camera on, and go about my business. So, we're going to go ahead and get this breakfast going. I am uh, uploading the new uh, vlog right now. Today is Thursday. I feel like there's some other things I have to do, but... Um, I gotta book my ticket to LA today, so I'll probably do that when I get back from the gym. And I am hoping to be able to um, look into dance class. Although I don't like going to these types of things when the weather changes, because you know, when inclement weather comes, you know, it's harder to go to those, you know what I mean, when it's icy and stuff. But in the meantime, in between time, I could, you know, be doing it and just do something different, if not dance class or something. And if not, I'll just wait till the spring. But. I have had this urge to dance because I dance all the time. Y'all have seen it you know, on Instagram and randomly on these videos. I love to dance and I, and I actually can, not choreographed, but I got rhythm, you know what I mean? But I, that's the one thing I would love to be able to do is to f be able to freely do choreographed dance without looking like a klutz because I'm a klutz. So that's my, my downfall. <laughs> y'all know what I mean? So anyway, I'll keep y'all posted on that. But let me eat. Um, yeah, happy Halloween. Hope you guys are having a great time. Give the kids hugs and kisses. Be safe with them, or I hope you were safe with them when they went out to trick or treat. And I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, so we've got our shake of the day. This is my second meal, guys. And I'll show you what's in it real quick. I gotta go to Jessica. All right, we got some ice, we got some spinach, we've got some honey. We've got um, what you can't see, which is pineapple. These are the frozen um, fruits we got from Sam's the other day. So it's a medley of pineapple, um, peaches, and strawberries. We have our amino acids, these right here, which give it kind of a bitter taste at first, and you have to really make sure it's mixed. So just FYI, if you try aminos, make sure th this is really mixed so you don't taste it. Some honey, a cup of almond milk, and a half a cup of egg whites because you guys know I don't have protein, so I'm improvising on the actual um, protein. Yeah. 
There we go. The green monster is what I'm calling this motherfucking drink. I know there's several versions, but just because it's green, it has that spinach in there. So it's really good, surprisingly. Seriously, it looks gross, but I promise you, it is actually delicious. I'm about to go to Jessica's. What's up, y'all? Okay, I don't know if I'm in focus. I have no idea if I'm in frame. Um, y'all know I got that car mount and I have not tried it while I've been driving. So this is definitely gonna be something a little different, but perfect day to test it out because it is a little rainy outside it's murky outside so this allows me to do my little vlogging real quick and not have to hold the damn camera so yeah man you have to let me know what you think of course the car mount can be moved and i'm going to probably need to move it to adjust it a little bit so that i have a more general generic area that i can you know vlog while i'm in the car every now and again but for right now this may do i'm kind of stoked i'm hoping i'm in frame y'all my head might be cut off because i tried testing it out and my head was cut off so if i'm cut off i'm cut off but anywho so your girl just got back from working out actually i am finished with my workout it was hard as fuck and the reason i didn't shoot it because i didn't is because i got an unexpected email and a very welcome email very welcome email which turned into a phone call which then turned into a very long phone conversation and uh, it was all positive it was all great it was wonderful but very unexpected and i got the email as i was about to turn in and get into the the gym you know as i was about to get into the gym and then i got a phone call like literally right afterwards i had responded and then i got an email i mean i got a phone call directly afterwards so i had to tend to that email i mean sometimes you just gotta make sure you know, some shit that comes up you don't say let me wait on this too you know what i'm saying opportunities shit like that so um anyway uh needless to say I got on the phone was on the phone for like 45 minutes damn near okay and uh because the phone was connected to my car I couldn't necessarily get out the car to finish the conversation plus I wouldn't have been able to do it anyway because it was noisy in the gym thankfully today was more of a very laid-back day and it was a day that just me Jessica and Avery were gonna just completely just do our workout together collectively just as friends not necessarily as a training session per se so um, they got their workout on you know they had texted me while I was on the phone they got their workout on and then what I did is when I got off the phone because I was parked at the gym on the phone taking the phone call I went ahead and did the workout by myself so low dolo so I still got my workout in. I did everything that they did that they had already had planned for all of us to do, but I did it by myself. So I'm really proud of myself. I was sweating like a motherfucking pig and I got through the entire thing myself. And uh, yeah, so I still got it in and I got my phone call done and did my follow-up emailing right after I got on the phone at the gym. So I, you know, I was typically carry my phone with me. And um, yeah, I usually carry my phone with me. So, and that's the main reason why I usually carry it with me because if something comes up and I wanna make sure I can tend to it, um right away you know what i mean so anyway uh yeah that was a good email slash conversation so i needed to attend to that but i did get my workout in i had my shake on the way in the door and um, i'm about to go home and make this ground turkey so that i can go ahead and have my third meal of the day and then i'll probably have a shake or maybe some yogurt again with some strawberries and granola or whatever for later on and we're gonna go from there but uh yeah man um that was a hard ass workout you know she's still freestyling her workout so it's more along the lines of what we used to do before i started working out with kit and jamie so it was hard today and it was all cardio which is what i need i need to get that cardio going i need to do them burpees and shit that i used to do a lot more of before so um yeah so so far so good so i may if juice is in the mood to go work out may go work out again tonight and it's probably going to be um car a cardio session maybe it'll be a class or something that's only if juice wants to work out but if not no big deal i've already worked out so it's not going to hurt me to not go um and then i'll just um probably go work out in the morning tomorrow since tomorrow is friday and i typically don't like working out on fridays y'all know how i do with that so um yeah so yeah i showed juice the footage from me having gone to the Humane Society the other day and you should have seen his face change like it's obvious that we both are really like not that we didn't know we wanted a dog but you know we're ready you know we're definitely ready um, that little dog yesterday was just too too feisty and, I, and, I, and it's been a, it's been years since I've had a puppy because we've had Chewy since he was little little but he wasn't this feisty that dog when I say was feisty like he just Y'all know when you you know puppies they nibble they do that that's what they do you know until you reprimand them and teach them not to do it that motherfucker was damn near biting my damn finger I was like uh, this nigga need nah uh, 
she's cute, but I, I, I ain't ready for all that. And it's a chihuahua. Chihuahuas are a little bit more aggressive. So, um, and I know that just simply because everyone that I know who has a chihuahua has a very aggressive chihuahua. So, like everyone who I know who owns a chihuahua has, they're, they're very aggressive. So, anyway, not to say that they're all like that, but the ones that I've met. So, I just, you know, we gonna wait. Plus, I would never do that without juice any damn way. So, um, not this time, you know, though. Anyway, but yeah, man. About to go back to the Kribby crib. Got a, actually, I'm heading to run a couple quick errands for Juice. And he's got me running a couple tomorrow, too. So I'm going to go do that. But uh, yeah, I want to try the car mount out. I hope it works. I may have to move the car mount a little bit because it might really be cutting my head off. I had it framed yesterday, okay. But today, I don't know. I think I might have fucked it up. But either way, yeah happy I got it so this will make it a lot easier um, to vlog when we're on the road so yeah anyway all right I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue on I will hit y'all in a little bit hey what up y'all another day another nickel back in the kitchen trying to figure out what to eat tonight for dinner we ain't got much going on tonight for dinner Sandy been over there taking a nap this evening. From all those late nights, she's been staying up on the computer lately. I can't get this shit out the fridge. Damn. Right Trying to get this milk out the fridge, but uh, it ain't working. Here we go. Oh shit. I'm trying to get this, this out, but this shit is right here. See? Oh shit. Now I'm really about to fuck it up. Uh, yeah, hold up. <laughs> Let me see what I can do about this before I really fuck this shit up. All right. See, I finally got the milk out the fridge, and uh, this is what we have for dinner tonight, y'all. Tonight I'm preparing a nice gourmet meal, which consists of this right here going in this. We got two. We got two bowls of granola. That's, of course, the little bowl of Sandy's, and the bigger one is mine. <clears throat> this should be enough to, you know, get us going for dinner tonight. Look at that, yeah. Pouring that almond milk. Yeah, there we go. Wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. All right, all right. All right, got the granola going. Uh, like I said, Sandy's been taking a little nap today. She fell asleep for about an hour and 45 minutes when I, so good. I, did not when I got to the crib. So, and this is the first time she's taken a nap in months. And, um, you know, all the working out and the uh, staying up late. And when I get up in the morning, you know, Shit, how, how can I get up and not make noise and wake her up? So that's what I've been doing is uh, every time I get up in the morning, you know, I gotta come in here, fix some coffee, turn the lights on, and uh, we either fall asleep on the couch or in the bedroom. Either way, I gotta get up, you know, shower, get ready, all that good stuff, flick on some lights, bang some shit around the house, you know, open, close the door, leave. And so when I do all that, you know, naturally she wakes up too. Well, right, it gets about three or four hours of sleep a night, and I think now it's starting to catch up to her. So, you know, I'm just gonna let her, I've been letting her get her rest, and, uh, you know, that way we can get her back on some sort of sleep schedule. Because lately it's been off. Anyway, let me go uh, serve this dinner, and hopefully this will be enough. If not, I'll be back in the kitchen. All right, so check it out, y'all. I almost forgot. Today is actually Halloween. And I don't know about y'all, but here in St. Louis, it's been raining all motherfucking day. But we still had some people come by. We had some little kids come by with their parents and the umbrellas, you know, looking for candy. Unfortunately, we didn't have any because I thought Halloween got rained out. 
But these motherfuckers around here just keep coming, boy. They don't, they don't quit. Kids dressed up in costumes. <clears throat> I pulled up to the crib and I seen, uh, uh, for all you Star Wars fans out there, I seen Darth Maul walking down my street. And this little kid had a little mask on, a little, little cape, had a little sword hanging down and shit. <laughs> You know, walking up the street like he's about to kill somebody. Thank God this is Halloween. Otherwise, I probably would have been a little bit alarmed. <clears throat> but, you know, as you can see, we didn't do shit for Halloween. We didn't celebrate last week. We didn't celebrate this week. We didn't celebrate today. And we damn sure ain't celebrating Saturday. So. He's looking the next year for doing something for Halloween. Because this year's, you know, done. Anyway, that shit wasn't enough food for me, so I gotta figure out something else. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Now this is a this is one of those snacks you get when, you know, everything else fails. This is your emergency snack late night. It will get you full. And uh, it's great to eat before you go to bed. Check it out. Peanut butter crackers. If y'all know anything about peanut butter, you know that this shit will sit on your stomach for a minute. I think I need this right before I go to bed. Just so I don't get hungry while I'm sleeping. If that makes any sense. Anyway, uh, trying to get this shit open. Check it out. Tomorrow, you guys know I live for the weekends. So tomorrow, here's what we're gonna do. I guess, you know, I told Sandy to go ahead and get her get herself a massage tomorrow, you know, and you know, hopefully she can feel better, get some rest and all that good stuff. She's supposed to go to the store, get some wine, at least two bottles, bring it home, you know, so we can have our wine on Friday night. But tomorrow night we're supposed to be shooting our one two three tag, or is it the one two three video, or is it just one two three? Either way, I don't know what it's called for real. But uh, tomorrow night we're supposed to be shooting it. Uh, she's supposed to get a couple of bottles of wine so we can, you know, have a little bit a little bit before, during, and after. So my question to y'all is this: Anybody can guess how many glasses of wine I'm gonna have before we do the one two three tag? How many glasses of wine I'm gonna have during the one two three tag? And how many glasses I'm gonna have afterwards? You know, let me know down below if y'all can guess that shit. You know, I may even tell her to buy three bottles for tomorrow night, just so I can make sure I have enough liquid on hand. You know, in case I can't answer no questions. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So that's tomorrow night. Hopefully, we'll get it done. She'll get a massage. She'll be relaxed. You know, she'll pick up the wine. You know, pick up some other shit. And we'll just have a good old time and, and uh, do this little tag tomorrow. So, look out for that. Okay, so check it out. <clears throat> Got a buddy at work. Uh, he makes me these DVDs at times. Uh, he, he gave me one today. And what I'm supposed to do is, I'm supposed to make sure it's compatible with my DVD player downstairs. And ch check out his uh, little design though. Check it out. So, now this, this DVD case if you want to call it it's a paper case and it's actually made out of paper and and uh, what he did was what he did was he stapled the motherfucking paper together and put the DVD inside just so it wouldn't get wet or tampered with or any scratches so um, I need to go to make sure this shit is compatible with my DVD player and he's got a bunch of movies coming for me. I got all the, uh, let me get this shit off. What's this? Oh, uh, okay. So on this one, he's got, he got Man of Steel and White House Down on that one. Now, have any of y'all seen those movies? I, I, I know I saw Man of Steel, but White House Down, I don't think we saw that one. I think that's the one with Jamie Foxx. So I'm going to go check these out make sure they work. If they do work. I got about 10 or 12 DVDs coming for me. That's how we get it done here in St. Louis. We get the motherfucking case, we get the DVDs, and uh, we make sure this shit's compatible. Uh, let me know how y'all do it, alright? Because this seems to work for me. What's up, y'all? Oh, yes. This is too adorable. Y'all have to see this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. 
Isn't that adorable? See, y'all always ask why we're always on the, you know, why we always seem to fall asleep on the couch or start off our day on the couch. It's because it's just kind of like where we like to fall asleep. Because you guys know we don't have a TV in the bedroom. That's another reason why, too. A lot of people have a TV in the bedroom. And the only reason why we avoided having a TV in the bedroom is the whole reason. We've never had a TV in the bedroom in this household. And we've been in this house forever. It's because um, we didn't want to be lazy and, you know, get up you know, like wake up in the morning and just stay in bed, like over on the weekends. We didn't want to waste weekends. We did that in college a lot. Like when we, we had a TV in the bedroom in college. And so on the weekends, you know, when we didn't have to get up to go to class, we would just sit in the bed. We would get breakfast, bring the breakfast in the bed with us, you know, watch TV. And we, next thing you know, we've watched three movies or whatever. And then we're in bed like all damn day, which is the reason why we decided when we came into this house, we were not going to put a TV in the bedroom because we didn't want to waste, you know, days especially on the weekends or whatever which has really helped but as of late <clears throat> we've been toying with it you know like it's not gonna happen anytime soon in the bedroom but you know he's obsessed with electronics he's been obsessed with getting a television primarily for this room in here he wants something different in here because his tv in here is pretty old so yeah anyway he was watching the game was i'm over here still editing Y'all, these last couple days, your girl has been editing like a motherfucker. And not only that, but my ass has been staying up hell late getting the editing done. Because if any of you guys deal with um, um, iMovie and HD video, those two combined, oh my goodness. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it's the nature of the beast, but it takes, especially for longer vlogs or whatever, it takes so long for the video to import. So then once it imports, it slows my computer down. So I almost have to kind of like let it do its thing. Like I have to let it kind of sit for a minute before I can fuck with the computer because then everything is really slow. And I think it just might be I was watching somebody's video and they were talking about them having a similar situation. And I think it's because of the um, amount of storage that I, I'm, I'm, I have on this laptop. So eventually I want to eventually get a desktop computer so that I can do a lot of my editing on the desktop and then leave my laptop free, which is why I have my, I'm sorry, did I have some in my eye? Um, which is why I have so many external hard drives because a lot of the things that, tr that I have, I try to save and put, that I want to save, my goodness, my damn eye, I um, put it on the external hard drive to relieve the storage on this laptop so it's not as slow, so. And it's already starting to get full again, so I'm gonna need to remove the videos, anyway. Yeah, man. Um, what the fuck is this? Anyway, um, over here watching some vlogs, my damn self. I'm about to change the channel to my usual Golden Girls. Golden Girls, or um, lately I've been watching the Wayans Brothers. Now, y'all know, if y'all have watched that show, it's kind of like not that, it really wasn't that good when it was on originally, which I never got into it, but for some reason, because the reruns come on and Golden Girls only goes to a certain amount of time, I think it only goes till um, 1230 out here when I happen to be still, you know, editing like I've been doing late i um i end up watching the wayans brothers because it's usually the only thing that's on late that i it's a sitcom that i like to watch because everything else is just like infomercials and sit infomercials and sit infomercials and shit y'all i laid down on juice we were just talking shooting the shit <clears throat> looking at vines and shit on his ipad and shooting the breeze and i fell asleep like on his lap like just i had my head on his lap just straight up just out he was so warm and so comfortable and i was out i was gone I didn't even realize how long I fell asleep. He was like, I just didn't move so you could sleep. And I was like, oh my God, I was asleep, he said, for an hour and a half. I never take naps, y'all. When have you ever heard me say I took a nap? Y'all, I didn't even try to take a nap. I fell asleep while we were talking. So yeah. Anyway, needless to say, I'm not gonna be on the computer very long today. I'm literally, um, I already uploaded my Fashion Forward Friday. So if you have not seen it yet, um, a lot of you guys were asking about this particular outfit. I had these joggers on that are fly as fuck. And I had this, oh my god, this sweatshirt. It's a sweatshirt, but it's so fucking fly. And the whole outfit was really ridiculously inexpensive. If I remember to add it at the end of this video, I will. Sometimes I forget. Um, but if I don't, then just go to the Beauty Fashion Channel and you'll see it there. Um, but it's dope, y'all. And, I mean, I had these really badass shoes on. The whole thing was super comfortable, but super chic and very inexpensive. So, check out the video. If I remember to link it, I'll link it down below. If not, just, you know, check out the Beauty Fashion Channel. It's the newest Fashion Forward Friday you see there. And then, um, yes, or t yesterday's vlog, which is what I'm uploading right now, is 
almost an hour long and it just so happens to be the case you know what i mean so it's you can i don't know if you can even hear the computer i'll put it by the that noise that's because the edited video is processing so like it'll be another hour and a half before it's done but i'm gonna let the computer sit while it processes sit here hang out with the hubster lay with him you know and eventually we'll get up and go to bed so anyway yeah man just wanted to uh say what's up show y'all juice sleeping i don't know if i have anything on my face i probably do um i feel bad i didn't even Normally, I'm up making him something to eat. He was just like, don't worry about it. I don't even feel like eating anything major. I'm just going to make him. He loves that granola, which worries me because I feel like he's going to take it to work. And I already warned him. I was like, motherfucker, you take that shit to work. That's your ass. So I'm praying that that shit's still here tomorrow. Anyway. I'm about to change this shit. He watching the clippers or some shit. Highlights? I don't know what the fuck. Anyway, it's late. Or, it's not that late. But since I took a nap now, I'm kind of like wired. So, I'm going to watch a little TV. Finish um, watching this vlog I'm watching right now. And take my black ass to bed. Well, take him to bed, really. And, uh, yeah, man. We did nothing for Halloween, y'all. Nothing. This is the first year in a... But it was, it's probably been, the last couple of years we've usually done something adult like for New Year's, like, I mean, New Year's for Halloween on the weekends. But because this one fell on a weird date, like it's a Thursday, it's just weird to me. So we don't know whether we should have celebrated last weekend or if you celebrate this weekend, like for Halloween parties and shit. But I didn't really see a lot of people doing that this past weekend, like on Instagram and Twitter and shit. So I'm assuming it's this weekend. Um,. But we, you know, literally, like, not a lot of people were in the... I mean, he saw some people in the neighborhood trick-or-treating. Not a shit ton, though. So, <laughs> it's been raining all day today. So, um, a lot of people just... I mean, even, like, Avery and Jessica, them, their kids, they went trick-or-treating for, like, a little bit. But literally, they just... You know, the adults had drinks, and then the kids just played, and that was it. I was actually going to head over there um, just to hang out with them and stuff, hang out with the kids and everything. And um, that's when I fell asleep in Juice's lap, so... I had already told them I was sleepy, so they already knew I might fall asleep since I've been doing a lot of cardio and staying up kind of late working, but all in all, today was a good day. Very low-key and chill, and now the hubster sleeps, so I'm going to let him do his thug bizzle, his biz naive. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I think I might get up and go to the gym. If not, I'm going to go get a massage. I don't know. Hell, you all know Fridays are so random for me, so we're going to just play it by ear. I love y'all. And I will see y'all manana. We'll see y'all manana. We'll both see y'all manana. Love y'all. Bye.